If you had asked me before I had children what the one thing was that I looked forward to as a mother, it was family dinners together. You see, I am the proud product of family breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Even as little children, my brother, sister, and I would sit like docile lambs and shovel with utensils whatever was placed before us. But five years later, at my kids' annual pediatric checkups, when the doctor asked if we had family dinners together and proceeded to document the benefits, I decided to document the reality of family dinners with two boys, ages two and five. And the reality is, they suck. <laughs> of course, that doesn't mean that I don't start each dinner out with hope and optimism. <laughs> Those two unrequited emotions that never quite get the hint. Tonight, I think, tonight will be the night where four people will eat together in an enjoyable manner. And so I call to the table at least 10 times with increasing volume, and then I pile books and toys and trucks on the table and lure them to these things called chairs for what I like to call active sitting. <laughs> and that's when the game of endless one-on-one -on -one defense begins. I'm in charge of the two-year-old. My husband is up against the five-year-old. And together, we have a very small window of time before it all goes to hell you know they're going to score on you. It's only a matter of when. We're like the lollipop guild from the Wizard of Oz guarding Shaquille O'Neal. <laughs> the toddler, while ravenous, is picky, and let us not forget, completely irrational. Speed is of the utmost importance when you're being outmaneuvered by a pint-sized Kim Jong-il, and it is my job to feed him as fast as humanly possible, but not anything that would upset or unhinge him like a blueberry. <laughs> On the other side of the table, so close yet worlds away, the five-year-old holds court with stories about ancient warfare, meat eaters of the late Cretaceous, how Boudicca poisoned herself. He couldn't give a damn about food or forks, and it is my husband's job to remind, cajole, threaten, to use your prehensile claws and eat for Pete's sake. In our highly focused, defensive position, there exists no adult conversation. To err on the side of how was your day would be to lose a quarter to a half of the family dinner participants <laughs> to the train table or the scooter. But that's not to say there's complete silence at the family dinner table. Sometimes in between storytelling, my older son will say something like, I peed a little in my pants. Or, my teeth hurt because I ran into someone's head. <laughs> More often than not, it is the constant question, are you listening to my story? Are you listening? Are you listening? Are you listening? With the background beat from the two-year-old chanting, milk, milk, milk. <laughs> when there is a moment of silence, it is usually because they are both picking their noses at the same time. <laughs> now, dinner usually involves eating, but not in the instance of the family dinner. Let me crunch some numbers for you. Only 50% of the family par dinner participants actually eats their dinner. Guess which 25% I am. Guess which 25% performs a burp symphony. 100% of the family dinner participants consider dinner to be the appetizer before cartoons. Now, a lot of moms pride themselves on not being short order cooks. Let them go hungry if they don't want to eat. Me, I lost my pride a long time ago at 3 a.m. with two hungry children, which leaves me with a lot of grease stains and a full compost bin. When I pass by the mirror in the hall, I can't help but see a hapless John Belushi from Saturday Night Live. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, two chip. <laughs> On the occasion that the family dinner ventures out to a public eating establishment, things are slightly better, seeing as how the kids are so excited that John Belushi is not cooking for them. It's less Greek diner and more Mad Money's lightning around. I mean, just how fast can a person eat? Fast enough to fill four bellies and ski-daddle before the people next to us have taken a leisurely bite of their burrata. I am the Apollo Ono of speed eating. So yeah, we do the family dinner a couple of nights a week. Do I feel that my worth as a mother is tied to communing harmoniously around a rectangular block of wood? Sometimes. But most of the time I recognize that communing harmony and dinner don't need to happen at the same time. 
If you ask me what I look forward to as a mother today, it's surviving the cattle drive and then enjoying a nice dinner around the chuck wagon at 8 p.m. when the wrangling is done. Thank you. <laughs>